My name is Farouk George Bokro. I am an entrepreneur and the name of my company is Yomi Plus Enterprise. With my experience as an entrepreneur, there are four key notes that I took note of, four key things. One is because you are the one with the vision and others are unable to see through you, it is difficult to get people or pull people alongside to understand and play the same role as you want. So sometimes you have challenges in trying to convince people to accept the ideas you have so you can get funding from them. That is one key thing I took note of. Secondly is sometimes when you go through an initiative or you have an idea and you are unable to get people to fall al alongside or in line with the idea you have, it kind of pull you backwards. It makes you feel like you are not getting the necessary support that you need. For that matter, you are most likely to give up on your dream or the vision that you have. So if you don't have perseverance, you are most likely to drop and then follow the job chain. Another point I took note of is that one major key thing which every entrepreneur faces is the finance. If you are not able to get financial support, you might not be able to go far. And getting financial support is a key problem. Others get so confused like that they don't know where to source for funding. How to source for funding is also another key challenge for entrepreneurs. So therefore, it kind of pulls a lot of people out of the entrepreneur chain, like trying to become entrepreneurs. Now, one thing I took note of is that some of the challenges I have faced as an entrepreneur during my high and low periods are sometimes it gets to a point where you are not able to raise enough funds to embark on certain projects. And when you fall on people you know, others you feel might be of financial support to you, they back out because they don't understand the vision in which you have. They are not able to fall in line with your kind of thinking. So they feel like investing or putting money in your idea might not reap any profit for them. But because you have the idea, you have the concept, and you know where you are heading towards, you're able to understand how you can be able to make back if you get support to push into the ideas that you have you have in your head. So finance is a major key. So sometimes when you're unable to push through, it's because you are facing some financial challenges. Now that is why you have to sit back and think through, see how, what are the avenues to be able to raise or generate funds to embark on the ideas you have. Others might just relax, some will fall on friends, others will look in at family. But then what I always do is, I try to come up with prototypes of the ideas that I have and then fall on friends first, then the general public as well. Those I think might be of help. Those who are influential in society and might be able to help me achieve whatever ideas that I have. These are areas and these are some of the steps I intend, I, I like I have adopted. And at a point it has helped me to move out of some financial challenges. Though I would say I've not gotten there yet, but at least I've been able to move from one step to the other. And I've been able to move out of certain low stages in my entrepreneurial experience. Now, another thing I want to talk about is my team. You see, it is very important you look for people who understand your vision, people who understand what you are into, and then let them feel, let them have a feeling of being part of whatever it is that you are doing. Let them feel like they also owe whatever it is that you have. For that matter, they'll be able to put their all into the initiatives that you are embarking on. And you must also make sure you link yourself with people who have very similar visions so that you can have a good team player group to be able to achieve the vision that you have in mind. And it is also very important to make sure that you look out for a very good market that can be able to what? accept the products that you are into. For instance, if you are into, or your idea is about selling food products, and you cannot identify the market group or the areas where the particular product in which you intend to sell, or you have identified and you want to sell to the general public, your, it, at a point, it describes failure for your business. So identifying market areas, identifying environments that will be friendly for the kind of idea you have is key as far as entrepreneurship is concerned. Some of the growth strategies in which I've adopted are, you know, as an innovator, 
sometimes I look at the needs of the environment. Some of these items might exist already, but what I do is I try to improve upon them, add more services to um, what the thing is. What I mean is, if for instance, with one device I develop for an, an organization, a hand washing machine, uh, hand washing device, which are very common in town. Now, what makes my unique is the way it operates. So what usually I do is I add value to an, uh, uh, some of the existing devices that are there. Apart from that too, I also look at initiatives or devices that might exist elsewhere, but within my environment, they don't exist. So I build them and introduce them to the environment, to the people within the, my community. They buy into it because it helps to improve their life. It helps to make activities easier for them. And this has helped to grow my business. Why? Because people are always yearning for new things. People are trying to try their hands on new initiatives, innovations. And that is what I try to put into my kind of business. So I don't want to look like what everybody does every, at, at, like let's say other shops. All other shops, everybody, everybody does the same thing. But I try to be unique. I try to add value to what I produce. And I try to change it in a different way. And that is one of the reasons what raises why my business is kind of moving forward as compared to others. And my entrepreneurship is really working for me. Now, one other factor I want to take note of is um, when it comes to entrepreneurship, you see, people have ideas, which I believe, including you, you might also have your idea. But the difference between inter an entrepreneur and those with the ideas is that if you fail to take a step then you just be at one place with an idea if you take a step and it doesn't work for you and you feel like one once it, it is not working so you have to look elsewhere it means you are not focused it means you don't really understand what you are in for if you know this is what i have as an idea and this is what i want to achieve you must go all out Despite the challenges and obstacles that will come your way, because it's part of life as an entrepreneur, just be ready to face challenges, difficulties, rejection from others. Because when you have an idea, apart from getting or seeing the idea come through for people to begin to understand after the whole idea is initiated, when it's a vision, people fail to understand what you have. So a lot of people will not side with you. Sometimes when you discuss ideas with people and don't take time, you, they discourage you. So it is better you fight through your ideas and get mentorship. That's one thing that makes some entrepreneurs, entrepreneurs flop. They need mentorship. This part of our, 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 our country, yes, there are organizations that help to mentor people. But if you don't expose yourself, you might not meet some of these people that can assist or help you get the mentorship that you need in order to grow your business. That's one other factor. Now, what you need to also know is that you must make sure you have a very unique component in your business. That's one thing some entrepreneurs do not take note of. Your component must be very unique. And another thing I want you to know is that, in my opinion, there are two main ideas in which I feel I would want to share with you that can help to boost up the growth of your business. One is the people you work with. You must make sure you choose the right working force because for any business that grows or for every business to grow people who you work with count but there are those who will play certain key roles in the growth of your business you cannot be everywhere and you cannot do everything so that is one thing I, I took note of another factor is that you must understand the type of business that you are into and you must also take note of the environment in which you are Make sure your business, you are within environment friendly. That relates to, sorry, what I want to say is, make sure your business is within a friendly environment so that the business can grow. In my opinion, I think uh, there's a need for organizations to focus on initiatives that are unique within the environment. Initiatives, when I say initiatives that are unique, for instance, if products are already in the system, and you come out with the same product and introduce it into the same system. There is nothing new. There is nothing special about your product. But if you're able to add value to the product that you have, 
it makes it unique and it makes it special. So for that matter, your product can be able to sell. It can be able to penetrate through the market. It can be able to compete with already existing products. You see, you are giving the customers an option. And the option here is the majority that are doing the same thing and you, a single person, who have added value to your product and you are unique from all the rest. So it's like you are sharing the market. All others, you are sharing you as an individual entity. You are sharing the whole market with a whole bunch of others. Because they are all doing the same thing and you are just unique. So that is an opportunity for you to be able to grow faster and bigger. So it is easier for such an initiative or an entrepreneur to be able to accelerate faster. So these are uh, areas that I feel there's a need for organizations to pay attention to so that uh, businesses can be able to easily accelerate to a certain point. And one other factor I want to also uh, talk about is when it comes to two deals of groups, when it comes to like uh, 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 what one can do to grow as a business. One is um, there are two options. We are looking at volume and value. Now, every client first of all look at value before they consider quantity. You see, they are looking at the value of the product before they look at the quantity of the product. Unless, of course, uh, you are from a very poor background and you feel like, well, quantity is enough or quantity is what you want to consider first. And uh, which in most cases, people who look at quantity, they don't get the value. So value is very key. And when you want to talk about value, a product, the value of the product sells the product faster compared to the volume of the product. So once you're able to achieve a good value, it gives you a trade, a good trademark is able to carve a very special name, thereby giving you a brand. When you're able to achieve this brand, then you can be able to achieve the volume. That is, you can be able to, because demand will increase. So your product can also, you can also focus on how to expand the products, how to increase your products to meet the demand that the market might call for. Now, um, a few things I want to, add up to the general public is that as an entrepreneur it comes with a lot of challenges therefore one major thing you have to take note is you must be focused in what you are doing make sure you pay key attention to all the initiatives that you are embarking on people you talk to count it's not everybody you go to you go and discuss your ideas with you must identify those who will be able to understand what you intend to do. And for that matter, they can be able to give you good advice with relation to what idea, whatever idea that you have. If you want to go into business and you go discussing it with a teacher, he might not be experienced in business. So you might not get the kind of advice that you need. You, If you want to go into agriculture and you go discussing that with a doctor, you might not get the best idea that you need. So therefore, you must. it is very important you identify important people who can give you good advice, who can mentor you to be able to understand what you are really going to. That is one thing. Two is you need to also identify or be able to identify people who can be able to support you. That is very important because without support, you might not be able to get anywhere. You need financial support. You need moral support. These are very important things that you need, important uh, uh, things that you need as an entrepreneur. So they are what I want to advise on. And also, be perseverant. Others will come up with an idea, then when they start with it, it doesn't work at the point, they will change their minds. No. Once you are able to come up with an idea, and you understand your idea, and you know your idea can work, focus on it, build on it. Try to fight your way through all the challenges and odds and obstacles that might come your way and forge your way through success will come your way thank you